Hi, Erna Bees. How are you today? Today, uh, my back really hurts today, guys, so I'm not going to be uh, my usual jovial self. <laughs> kind of look white as a ghost. Um, so, you probably, you, if you look through the comments on videos, you will have noticed, um, oh, sorry, I just got out of the shower and I'm, anyway. You will know notice uh, one of my subscribers and friends named Chris Daniels. She always leaves really long comments, and I love it. Um, and she, her and I talk via um, email all the time. Why the heck she doesn't do messenger or text messaging or something like that is beyond me. But anyway. Um, so I said to her, you know, she said to me, um, when I had discussed with Jeanette from Miss Hootie Hootenin about getting some yarn for me from Hobby Lobby, um, she said, well, I could have done that for you. And I says, I know, but you know what? Your health is not good and I didn't want to bother you. And you know, well, Jeanette's health isn't any better, but, um, so she just finished moving and everything and I just I really didn't want to put that kind of pressure on her um I mean Jeanette she basically was already she the minute that I said that there was a yarn I wanted Jeanette was on her way to Hobby Lobby I was like she's she says I'm at Hobby Lobby what do you want I'm like okay so anyway so that my friend Chris didn't feel bad I said why don't we do a yarn stash swap you know, um, go through our yarn stash and, ow, wow, I got a cut on my finger and I didn't even realize it. Ah, until I just scratched my finger. Um, so I said, why don't we do a yarn swap from our stash? Because she just moved and she had a whole bunch of yarn and she thought, you know, she was, you know, trying to, I don't want to say get rid of, you know what I mean, de-stash a little bit. So I thought, okay, well, why don't we just swap out yarns? And uh, she said, okay. And I says, but there's a stipulation. I said, no boxes. I says, we used big poly mailers, you know, because I know her. Um, so she said, yeah, sure. She didn't listen. <laughs> I haven't sent her package yet and it's, I feel so bad, but I am in the process of making something for her. And because I've been commissioned by a whole bunch of customers and stuff, it's taking me a bit longer to get it done. So I can't send out her box until, you know, so anyways, I, I can't, I sent her an um, email saying, what the, you know, like this was not agreed on. <laughs> so, and I says, well, actually I, I haven't sent yours because, well, what I'm making probably needs a box. So, um, yeah, so her and I kind of had the same idea, I think. <laughs> anyway, uh, so I have the box here. I can't pick it up and show you. Um, I mean, at least she didn't pull a, a Jeanette and have like this massive freaking box. <laughs> like, holy cow. Uh, but it, it's a box. It's, it's a big box. And, um, she put, I can't show you the top of it because she's got her address and like post up, post stuff all over it. But she's got, um, Bumblebee. I wonder if I could take this piece off. Bumblebee duct tape. I've never seen Bumblebee duct tape before. Ow. Um, let's see if I can get some of this off. Oh, there we go. Is it going to come off? Yes, no, maybe. Holy cow. It's right on there. Ah, hang on. There we go. Yes, no. right. Okay, let's do this without showing too much. Isn't that cute? <laughs> I don't know where she found this, but I want some. <laughs> That's so cool. And then she's got other um, sunflowers on here too, so... Uh, but yeah, I thought that was pretty cute. Okay, now I might have to put this box up because George was right. <laughs> he says it's going to be a lot easier to do this on a table. Hold that thought. Okay, that was... Ow. 
Anyway, all right. Let's see what Miss Daniels has done. I opened the top. I haven't looked in. And there's a card right on the top. It's got stickers. <laughs> Believe in magic. Oh, let's see. I don't know if I can read this or not. Oh, wow, it's a long one. Let me read this and I'll, um, <laughs> she's got happy faces all over it. <laughs> Let me read this and see, see if I can give you a synopsis. Okay, I think I can read this to you. Okay, <laughs> she says, hi there, friend. So our swap, <laughs> that swap was, that was supposed to be a bag exploded, uh, some into a small box instead. I kept finding items I thought you would like, then decided to purchase a couple of yarns that I know were di more difficult to, for you to get in Canada, uh, that I just knew you would also love. Everything kind of just grew from there, LOL. <laughs> in here are some other, or, uh, in here are also some little um, items thought I thought you might like as well and could use. So I told you I have been decluttering and de-stashing since we moved into our new house and would rather, and I would rather go to, and I would rather give it to, give it to them. Anyway, she'd rather give it to me than someone else. Um, I just knew I, that would appreciate more than just a garage sale, just to garage sale them. Believe me, there are still bags full, full for that. Um, anyways, I do not like. I, d I do not hope you, you, I do not, I, wow, I need more coffee. Anyways, I hope you like and enjoy what I have picked out for you for this little swap of ours. <laughs> um, so, yeah. So, <laughs> geez. All righty. <laughs> Let's see what she's done. She's got wrapped around it here and oh, oh wow hmm. <laughs> oh wow okay well number one the Karen Colorama Halo I don't think we have that here so I was telling her that and the Colorama Haze uh, the Colorama Halo I can get. The Colorama Haze I cannot. So she sent me one. And she sent it in my favorite color. <laughs> oh. I love it. Oh, it's so soft. Wow. That's really cool. It's got... You can, It's hard to see. Oh, you can see it on camera. Wow. It's got oranges in it pinks. That's cool. Oh, that might make a nice hat. Well, I'll make a few hats actually. Huh. Okay. Now the color of my halo. Yeah. That is so cool. You know, George is going to end up uh, stealing a few of this, you know, for hats. I know it. Um, where can I put all this stuff? Ooh, just put it down here for now. Oh, what is it? Oh, wow. Hand dyed heaven. This, um, wasn't this, uh, was it Joanne's or Hobby Lobby? can't remember. I think it was Hobby Lobby. They uh, did a big blowout sale. I'm not sure if they use the, have these anymore, do they? Oh, they're so pretty. She gave me three of these. Wow, that's cool. I wonder what I'm gonna make. And this is, feels like it's cotton. It's hundred percent nylon. It's night is softer than cotton. Way softer. Ooh, ooh. Hmm. Hmm. Now I'm thinking. Hmm. Okay. Oh wow. This I know is discontinued. And this was a yarn that I used before that I absolutely loved. Um, but yeah, the <clears throat> the um, cream cotton by Loops and Threads. 
I bought this stuff up like crazy. Um, I mean, I just, I, I think I did a tutorial for a summer sweater with this. I think. So she sent me two of the cream and then she sent me a, a green. Look at the different, look at the, how they changed it. It was in a donut and now, and then it was in a skein. I wonder if the yardage is the same. 234 yards on this one. And 432 yards on this one. Isn't that interesting? Huh. But it's exactly the same. Cool. Oh, this is going to be fun. Ah! Oh. I think her whole plan for this is to get my yarn stash up again. Because I pretty much took my yarn stash and used it for the shop. So I think that's her thinking behind this box. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, ooh, 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 ooh. Sorry. <laughs> I love this yarn. This is one of my favorite colors of I love this yarn. Oh, this is the I love this yarn print. And this color is aqua and black. Oh, I love this. My favorites. I love it, love it, love it. Thank you. <laughs> oh, what is this? Oh, crushed velvet. You know, it's funny. I was going to buy some of this too. A crushed velvet and a velvet. I'm going to be making mushrooms. <laughs> oh, I love this. Um, This one is, the color is velveteal. <laughs> velveteal. And this is burgundy. Now, I remember, just burgundy? Burgundy, but it's got blue purples in it. I remember when I first started my channel, um, I got a bunch of this color, like this color, and there was a couple of other colors of this. <clears throat> and I ended up gifting it to another YouTuber. But, um, yeah. But now that I'm making Amis, oh, oh, this would make a beautiful dragon. Just saying. So with this. Hmm. Thinking. Thinking, thinking. Oh, what is all this? Oh my god. What the heck is that? It's called Saturn Nylon Viscose. Look at that. Isn't that fun? Wouldn't that would look cool in a poncho? Remember that poncho I made that my sister stole? <laughs> wow. That, well, that could be. I could do that. Oh, I could do that for a tail. For a dragon. Oh, yes. Okay. Oh, she gave me this one too. Oh, God, this is so soft. Look at those colors. Look at that. That would make an awesome dragon tail. Oh, that's so cool. I can't believe how soft and silky that is. Okay. What else? My God, what has she got in here? Oh. oh. Mandala. I went, I bought a bunch of this for the shop and I didn't get to keep any. So, oh, isn't that beautiful? Oh, I have a project that I want to do while I'm uh, healing. I wonder if that would work. Hmm. I have to think about that. Thank you. Okay. Mandela thick and quick. Ooh. Um, yeah. Look at that. I haven't used this before. That is thick. How, what size is this? It says it's a six. I don't know. That, that looks heavier than a six to me. Huh. She's got two of these in here. Hmm. Hmm. I have to think about this now. Okay. Put in the comments down below. What do you think I should make with this? Hmm. I'm going to have to think about that. Interesting. Oh, oh, excuse me. Oh my goodness. What is all this? Oh. Oh. Big twist hush. Hmm. What? Uh, this is poly, 100% polyester. 
God, is it soft? Wow. That is so soft. Do they, is this discontinued or do they still make this? Because man, if they, if this is still a thing, oh, I would like more. This is really nice. Holy. Oh, that is, that is really nice. Huh. It's almost suede -y. It feels kind of like a suede. Oh, it is nice. Hmm. Wow. Yeah. Let me know if they still have this. And I guess it's a Joann's brand, isn't it? Um, Big Twist. Oh, that is nice. Hmm. Okay, now she's got a bunch of little bags of stuff for your jewelry making. Oh, it's little rings. <laughs> it's, it's, um, uh, oh, there you go. It's those, um, uh, sizable rings. And then there's these and you can put, um, the cabochons and you can put like, if I had, um, vinyl, I could cut vinyl in circles, put it behind there and it kind of magnifies it. And, uh, and then you put that on rings. Cool. Cool. I like it. Okay, then she's got this. Let's see what's in here. She really packs everything well. Ooh, what's this? It's got little things all over it. And it's got ooh, elastic bands all over it, too. Here we go. Oh, look at all these stickers. It's got a whole bunch of, oops, a whole bunch of stickers in here. <laughs> and then she's got tiny little kawaii eyes in here. And, oops. oh, those are different. See these little ones? These are different. Oh, I'm on the wrong side. And then this, I'm not sure what this is. Oh. It's in a little thing here. Oh, hang on. Ah. Where's my. That's not where my scissors are. Of course, they're on the other side of the room. This looks like a hook. Oh no. <laughs> Holy cats. Come on. There we go. What? The 6.5 millimeter furls hook. What? What? <laughs> Why are you giving me one of your hooks, woman? <laughs> oh my God. She is a collector of furls hooks. Her, the extent of her furl stash outweighs mine by about 10 times. <laughs> I thought I really liked my furls hooks and I was collecting them, but she showed me pictures and I'm just like, Okay. I'm, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Isn't that beautiful? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I love furls. I love furls. She knows that. And these are not inexpensive hooks. Just saying, you know. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. And this is the size six and it's a 6.5. 
6 and 6.5 are the ones that I use for <clears throat> my bigger plushies. So, oh, thank you. Oh my gosh. Like, seriously, girl. And there's a card in here. Hang on. This, I love this box. This box is so cool. I just, I love this. That is, that is awesome. Oh, <clears throat> just so sweet. Get on there. All right. Oh, God. And that's not all. Oh, my goodness. What the heck is all this? Oh, she just sent me a whole bunch of little things, like... Oh. oh, wow. <laughs> oh, cool. <laughs> you know, I ran out of mine. I, uh, I, do you guys find that your stitch markers and stuff just disappear? It's like they, the couch and the chairs, they just eat them. <laughs> so I can really use these. Look at this bag. Oh, it's different on both sides. It's like a, le a leather bag. That is so beautiful. Oh. Oh, there's more in here. <laughs> oh, look. It's a little heart. Take me. It says, after every dark night, there is a bright day. Oh. You found a heart. Oh, this is, um, you know how people leave hearts and stuff or leave um, little amigurumis and stuff and then you find them. Oh, that's so cool. That is awesome. And then there's more. That's so cool. Thank you. I love this. This little bag is awesome. I, you know what? I'm going to put all my stitch markers in here now. And maybe then I won't lose them. Oh, what? Oh, my. Glitters and powders to use for your safety eyes. Holy. Do you see all of this mess over here? Yeah, that's all my stuff for my eyes. I'm trying to get little boxes or um, containers, organizers for all of this. Holy smokes. Girl. Man, if you and I lived closer, I think we, you know, we'd just be creating like crazy. Look at this. Oh, man. Holy. Oh, my God. Oh, look at that. There's so many in here, I can't even begin to show you guys. Like, there's just... Holy cow. Oh, this is going to be so fun. Oh, look at that. Oh, my God. Are you going to use this stuff? Like, there's so much in here. Like, there's foils. Holy. Wow. That's crazy. Are you sure? Oh, look at that. Oh, oh man. Well, you know, I'm going to have a... Oh, that's pretty. I'm going to have a lot of time when I'm healing. So that's when I'm going to be coming in here and creating and making eyes and stuff and um, learning how to make felt eyes. Thank you so much. Um, and then starting to put them up on my Etsy for sale. So, what's this? Oh. <laughs> oh, that's too funny. She says, to make stress balls, am excuse me, stress ball ammies like frog stingrays and stress blobs. Um, she says, tutorials on YouTube. That's funny. Because I bought some stress ball. I think I did a video on that. And I bought some stress balls 
that um, were almost like that kinetic sand. And I didn't, oh, oh, and I didn't think it was going to work. So I made one and I took it to work and it sold. <laughs> I was like, okay. But I haven't made any more yet because I just haven't had time. So, good Lord, woman, this tape is just <laughs> unreal. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Oh, this isn't like the connect. Oh, this these ones are better. Oh, wow. See? This, huh? hmm. Which ones did you get? Because these ones are way better. So the ones I got weren't like this. But see, it's... Oop, hang on. I don't know if you can see it. It's... I don't know if you can see that in there. It's like kinetic sand inside. But these ones are... Mine weren't as squishy like this. These ones are better than the ones I got. <laughs> Look at that. It's a blue ball. But it's pink. <laughs> Oh, there, now you can kind of see, oh, kind of see the sand right there. Yeah. Huh, cool. Thank you. All right, we're done. That took a half an hour. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> All right, you guys. Um, so thank you, thank you, thank you so much, my friend. I, I yeah, I, I'm going to try really hard to work on your, um, your stuff. I got to get these two dragons finished. And then once I get them done, then I can, I can get hammering on what I'm making for you. And then I could get your box in the mail. I feel horrible because I, I should have gotten this done a long time ago, but you know, things just happened. Life happened and yeah. So anywho. Okay. So I will talk to you guys later. Thanks for joining me. Don't forget to do all the things. Subscribe, like yada, yada, yada. Okay. <laughs> Because <laughs> I would like to make it to 4,000 subscribers. I just got over um, the 4,500 mark. So five years it took. <laughs> so just shows you that, you know, I, I really need to make my channel a priority. And um, I'm trying really hard to get more content out. Three days in a row I had a video out. That's unheard of for me. So, <clears throat> but yeah. So anyways, I will talk to you guys later. I love you all. Thank you, Chris. I love you. Okay, bye.